What's up, YouTube fans, Steaming fans, cryptocurrency fans? It's your boy BrVR. Welcome to the show. Remember to smash that like button before the video is over. Subscribe to my channel, and most definitely hit that notification button. But before this, this video is sponsored by Bitbond. If you're looking for a loan and you can't get it from a bank, why don't you get it from a big coin loan operator? You can go there, put in your information. The company is in Germany and get a loan and pay it back when you can. So remember, Bitbond and the link is at the bottom of the description. So today we're going to talk about EOS. Um, Dan is saying, if you guys know EOS, Dan Laramar is saying he want to scrap the Constitution, make something else. We're talking about Facebook. They have reversed their ban on cryptocurrency ads. And we're going to, lastly, nobody talked about this, but Ethereum Classic came out last Saturday with a decentralized exchange. Decentralized exchange. And that is pretty huge. So let's get right into it. I've got my handy dandy phone right here so I can read some quotes. So first thing we're going to talk about is EOS. These guys, well not these guys, but Dan, one of the head developers, want to squash, cut, kick, boom, bow, the Constitution. Because producers of blocks right now are freezing people funds. And that is not cryptocurrency... Uh, what's the word for that? Decentralization. This is big news for EOS. I went to an event last Monday. I talked to a couple of developers, and they even talked about the situation. But one thing they, they one thing that they did say, EOS is one of the easiest blockchains to code on and to put programs on. Way easier than Solidity on Ethereum. So EOS has a future. And let's hear what Dan says his proposal will be. If adopted by the network, this constitution will give users more anonymity while preserving their ability to opt in to third party arbitration if they so choose. Standard arbitration, Lamar says, should be reserved for handling disputes about the intent of code, not helping aggrieved users recover stolen private keys. That is some excellent information. I believe the same thing. If you're losing your private keys or giving away your private keys, you really don't understand the message of cryptocurrencies of holding that code. That code is for your business only. The situation we have right now with the banks, we put our money in banks, they own the money. They surprisingly give us back the money when we ask for it so they can have business of earning more money. Now with cryptocurrencies, the government can't just go in and take your money away from you because they need those private keys. You don't even have to have the private keys online or anything. You can have the private keys in your head and nobody, nobody will ever get your funds. So when he's talking about arbitration, or have an arbitrator, that mean a third party person that is there to reserve disputes. Somebody like a lawyer or auditor, somebody on the side that has the rules, not somebody that's on a network as a producer of a block to be able to make those decisions. And that is very true. Hopefully it goes through. Uh, maybe they can add some things. You know, I'm not the biggest thinker of those things. I have to think about other stuff too. But I think that's a great idea. Hopefully it goes through and the price of EOS did pop up after that. So next up we're gonna talk about Facebook. Um, this article is from Cointelegram. Facebook reverse ban on cryptocurrency ads maintaining bans on ICOs. So they actually maintain a ban on ICOs and binary option trading all right so this is the statement starting june 26 we will allow ads to that promote cryptocurrencies and related content from pre-approved advertisers but we will continue to 
prohibit ads that promote binary options and initial client offerings. Why are they doing this? Hmm. Well, Facebook just had some big things happen and they've been losing some revenue from what? The US government saying that that data that they have, they were giving it out or people was taking it without the knowledge of me and you to say yes, you can take it or approve, you can take my data. So they're looking for more revenue and they say, hey, let's just bring the crypto folks back because it was throwing a lot of money in and we need some of that revenue. So just simple. I have no problem with that. I was using Facebook to run ads for my YouTube channel and I probably will continue because I do mine here and I can use my mining profits to pay for that, to bring visitors like you to my channel to get this great quality information. And lastly, and lastly guys, we're gonna talk about Ethereum Classic Decentralized Exchange. Radex, these guys are the company that help build this platform with Saturn. I think Saturn is in Radex. Here's a quote. Radex Classic, the first decentralized exchange for Ethereum classes, will launch on Saturday or as we like to call it, Saturday. And they gave a URL. I'll put that URL at the bottom and they put a whole bunch of hashtags. And it says Ethereum community Ethereum Classic community makes big move, great work. I actually went to a website. Um, the tokens that they have, the most, um, they only have one popular token, but the other tokens have some good technology behind it. Their social media tokens, which I was very surprised about. And there was a Bitcoin futures token. Well, it was a platform, but it's completely decentralized, zero commissions. So, uh, you know, the, the idea of no fees to be able to switch coins or the idea of making a Bitcoin future platform with no fees on it, that's kind of crazy. So I'll leave the link at the bottom of the description. Go check it out. Ethereum, Cl Ethereum Classic is making big moves. Also, they will be on Coinbase very soon. And they're just getting bigger and bigger. So if you guys hear that grinding, Oli, hey, it's my dog Oli down there. I shoot a video of him over real quick. Hey man, you gonna give me some peace and quietness while I'm trying to make a video, man? Huh? You just chewing on that bone, aren't you? See, yeah, you like the bone, don't you? Huh? Yeah, it's your big face. Oh, you gonna get up? You like the camera? Say what's up, YouTube. What's up, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube? You're a YouTuber. YouTuber for life! Uh... But other than that, please like the video, share the video, visit my website, BritVRCrypto.com. It'll be at the bottom of the description. And all you guys have a good day, and all you guys have a good night. And enjoy the crypto life.